Hey, it's Cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where uh, hopefully we should be finishing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time we got to the x naught space and um, attempted to rescue Princess Peach, but turns out she wasn't there. Fortunately, the uh, final crystal star, the actual crystal crystal star, was there. So at least we got something out of it. But uh, apparently Groes has last been seen going through the Thousand Year Door with Princess Peach. That seems like an issue to me. Uh, also, last time we um, had an attempt at the Pit of a Hundred Trials. That's the wrong button. There we go. Uh, and as you can now see, we have capacity for 20 items. I did go ahead as well and uh, head over to Twilight Town in between streams and pick up a couple of life shrooms just for good measure. And in fact, let's get some stuff out of storage too. Let's also buy this book because brotherly obligation I guess. Let's grab this Jelly Ultra, this Whack Bump, uh, and this Slow Shoe. Oh, and it's Gradual Syrup, too. Why not? We have the room. Super Luigi 4, also known as Super Luigi World for the Super Nintendo. Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the end will draw near. What's going on tonight? Is the man and the moon freaking out or what? The star star astronomer. So we're just going to dive right in. No dawdling around. We've already done the troubles for uh, post chapter 7. Uh, I don't I think we have enough. Yeah, we don't have any giant sprites right now, so we can't upgrade anyone. So off we go to the Thousand Year Door to finally see what lies beyond. Also, let's see whose text we're going to get. Not looking, not looking, and stop. Madam Flurry. Alright. Uh, I actually didn't switch to Madam Flurry. Also, this is not the correct floor. This is the correct floor. Alright, Professor, what you gotta say? What's kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. Well, let's, uh, open her up. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft that last crystal star. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like the only room in the entire game where all four walls exist.
Oh my, look! The door! to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's go, Mario. Well, here we go. No, oh, no, we broke it. We also broke into Chapter 8 The Thousand Year Door. Oh, tile drop, that's how you know it's serious. My, what an unpleasant place. But I suppose we have no choice. We must go onward and save Peach before the situation spirals beyond control. Let's move on, darling. Alright, here we go. Oh. Random stopwatch here. Sure. Got him. Ah, uh, so gonna need to switch to Bella and Tap. That's a Swoopula, an airborne blood sucking bat like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep has yours to its own. How oh, totally, totally gross! Don't let it bite me, Mario! Uh... Well... How do you get blood from a bomb? That's my question right now. can confuse them. I actually didn't remember that. I'm, I must have known that it's so I think it actually mentions it when you get Madame Fleury, but it's not really something that uh, you ever think about unless you're doing it all the time. Shooting star. Dang. Oh, jeez. I don't like this audience, not one bit. <sighs> Bobbery is going to be important for this one here, because... He's actually able to destroy. The yeah, dry bones. Oh, 
By the way, a, mom a moment of appreciation for this battle music. Let's be real. Oh, really? That's interesting. It actually didn't let me uh, target the one in the back. Let's see if we can swipe that mushroom. His mouths, do your stuff. Got it. Uh, also, I like how the uh, pyrotechnics um, count as an explosive attack. Which means it actually destroys the dry bones. Oh, we got that free mushroom. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, that's not a good spread, actually. Ow. Well, that didn't go so well. Uh, dried shroom. Not gonna fault a guy for at least trying. I wonder if fire does do this for them. Yes, it does. Shell. Even if it just does one damage, that last one's gonna die of uh, fire damage anyway. Oh, that battle kinda hurt though. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't know if we're gonna really make use of those coins. But, um, at least we're not at 999, so... They're actually worth something, kind of. 
if I use Vivian? The explode all move too expensive. Well, it was um, it was nine flower points. That's pretty damn expensive. But yeah. Um. So let's go ahead and identify these guys. That's a bullet bill blaster. It fires bombshell. Uh, that's a bombshell bill blaster. It fires bombshell bills. Sorry about the abbreviation. Max HP is 10, defense is 4. Yeah, it's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll just keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta fi uh, figure out a way to beat it and fast. Oh, we can start with a fire drive. That's a bombshell bill. Bombshell bill blasters shoot these things repeatedly. Max HP is 3, attack is 6, and defense is 2. His attack is high, but his HP is low, so you take it out before it takes you out. And again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that bull, uh, that bombshell bill blaster. Huh. It actually put out two of them? It's calling it a cannon would be too pedestrian. Oh, that wasn't very much. And that didn't kill anything either. Only putting out one this time. I am going to... Um, that was the biggest debt. Okay, biggest health deficit is Bobbery. We're gonna use Sweet Beast. Well, where is that last poison shroom? There it is. Still good recovery though. Blaster's gone. How did you do block that sells also a counter attack? You mean the super guard? Uh, pretty sure we've already covered that, but uh, if you hit B at exactly the right time, uh, that would be a super guard and it um, also inflicts one unblockable damage on uh, on that enemy. Uh, thing is, it's a much, much smaller window than a regular guard. It has to be like within one frame in order to actually hit. Nothing. 
Hit action commands, attack rises, fail, it drops to zero. Ooh. I don't know if I actually want to use that. Because that sounds frightening. Also, this room seems terrible. Alright, Mesh should do that without even getting an encounter. be a bad idea to equip that, uh, what was it called? Ice power. Definitely want to keep that chill out. Mm, let's go ahead and, uh, because that uh, only works in, that does work in peril. Uh, that does work in danger, rather. That also works in danger. I'm going to keep that and switch out to Ice Power so I can jump on this guy. That was probably most of its HP, so let's go ahead and pull uh, Gimbella in here. That's a phantom ember. It's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So, um, I'm not too cool with this thing. Ugh. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. If it attacks you with spirit flames, you'll catch on fire. Let's send this ghoul back to the grave, okay? <laughs> Please? the other way. Hmm. Vivian might be the way to do this. Feasibly, I could also have, like, rolled up, but uh, I feel like, well, I guess, yeah, the jump is probably high enough, like, just high enough to, uh, to make the, the lower flames. That's probably what they actually meant me to do. It's a big empty room. Which means one of two things. One, there's... No, there isn't a flippy tile here. We're probably going to run into someone. None shall pass by. Let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. May the intruder never find the key to this door! Come on. 
There he is. Hey, <laughs> where's Wally with the dry bones? Pretty much. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring out Gumbella, title of the boss. That's the Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones gang. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but then it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to, get to it getting back up, though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other Bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels outnumbered. It's a pretty tough enemy. You better take it and its buddies all out all at once. That was not a whole lot of damage, actually. Oh, poor Goombella. <laughs> she is not meant for tanking. Um, I think this warrants a bob on Bast, honestly. Repeatedly tap A. Uh, bingo there would have been beautiful. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna build another one. Zero. Oh, but I'm out of room, actually. Let's see. What do I got as far as attack items? That works. Takes out the boss, too. Regular hammer throw, or regular hammer attack should take care of the rest. 33 star points. Big number, and it's big enough to give us a level up. So what are they leveling up, Tyrion? I think you're the only one in the chat right now, so... You get the pick. Are we going with HP? 35-40, FP 30-35, or VP 39-42? Same HP. Alright. Wouldn't have been my pick, but uh... There's the key. Now what's in here? Ultra Shroom. I was not expecting there to be uh, more bombshell bills. This fool usually just loops through every stat evenly. I'm also asking the only fool who actually has made it today, so... Thank you for being my fool. Oh, come on now, really? I disagree, game. I was going to do like an actual like super hammer or something. 
But this is gonna do damage at the very least, so... Um... Honestly, Fire Drive is probably gonna be a little bit more economical than... Uh, having Viv do... Fire Jinx, yeah. Probably did more damage too, honestly. going to do a spin jump, but, uh... Ooh, there are four of them. You know what? Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should actually use that action command badge. Because I, I do miss occasionally, but most of the time I can at the very least get the, um, the actual command in. I'm gonna have to trade something though. Not really using Quake Hammer all that much. What's the criteria for Happy Flower? Because I feel like it's not really recovering my flower points as quickly as I feel like it should be. Trade out Zap Tap at least for now. I mean, that's this what I this what, also what I figure it's supposed to do, but I feel like it's not quite even doing that. So I think I heard some cannons down there, so let's bring Vivian out again. Yeah, sure enough. I'm trying to time it correctly here. I managed to actually uh, start this encounter before uh, before uh, they shot out. So at least there's that. Thank you. 
That thing is very defensive. Ah, uh, and that sucks. Now uh, that didn't do as much overall damage as I was hoping it would. Please let me shoot one. Thank you. And this should be the end. Perhaps. More coins! Oh goody. <laughs> mean I Ah, oh, it shot out anyway! No! Where we can take it out in one shot. Sure can. Power up defense down partner. Boosts your ally's attack by one, drops his or her defense by one. And Jam Jelly. That stores 50 HP or 50 FP. Uh, I'll throw away the dizzy dial. Ah, oh, come on, really? I'm gonna say no to you. Let's go ahead and flatten the areas. Hmm. I see a problem here. Unfortunately, I don't need to do like a stylish in order to uh, in order to actually deal damage. I just need to actually get the regular action command. I wonder how much you can farm this. Ah. Uh. Well, that's not good. Lost well, another turn. Where I can't actually defend myself. There we go. Fifteen star points. The audience is not particularly amused by that one.
it does seem that the um, the all or nothing badge does not affect um, the partner hmm the partners which is probably good if I just start failing at uh, at action commands all the time oh right this area so I'll give you a basic rundown of this area it's just gonna keep looping around unless you follow the correct path what's the correct path you ask follow the torches That's gonna be up this time, it sure is. Up again. And I'm gonna guess down. Tough, tough. Let's go down. Wow. Okay. So for for the first room, I was actually kind of uh, examining the room, so it wasn't really a guess. The rest were guesses. So that's two, four, eight, sixteen. 32, a 1 in 64 chance. I did not, but if that is always the same path, I swear to you, I did not have it memorized. I was guessing the entire way, and I just happened to uh, get the correct path. Mm, we, get a, we get out of one odd room just to find another. It's so huge. Like another grand city almost. What is this place? There is a switch back there, which we probably need to get into this pipe in order to access, but... Hey buddy. That'll be a chain chomp. Uh, is there anything here by the women's mouse? There is not. Let me read this. I cannot. So we're just going to ignore that room for a second. Can't believe that the kingdom under Rogue Port was as big as a city. <laughs> Bigger than Rogue Port itself, honestly. Oh, we haven't fought these sort of chain chops before. Well, you know what that means. That means remember to actually switch away from um, from Goombella after I've done this. That's a chain chomp. I hate get, I hate. I'd hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. My HP is seven. Attack is six, and defense is five. His body is hard, so most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire and ice attacks. You can freeze it, though. Luckily, it has low HP, so you can take it out with a special move or an item. Chomp chomps are, are, like, so super pumped up all the time. Don't they ever get tired? It's 
So considering how high their uh, defense is, what would this do? Ow. Well. What about you? One point. Ew. Come on, bingo! Yeah, look at that! Bingo! Hmm. Let's go for a fire drive. Which does no damage at all because I wasn't paying attention to what Goombella told me. Okay, well you should be able to take this one out. Naturally, that does no damage. Oh, this is gonna take you out, buddy. Seven points on the nose. How far did this corridor go? I was starting to get the feeling like it was just not going anywhere. There is a save point here and that makes me nervous. Who are you? Oh, hi. No one's disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Now who's this dragon fellow? I say, is that Hooktail the thing you beat before? Yes, enormous, enormous with rather grimy toes. Yes, that suits this fellow to a T. What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wondered what she hadn't written recently. Quick in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I shall avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. I'm pretty sure this is an optional boss. <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Well, let's find out more about this jerk. That's Gloomtail. I think he's, hook he's Hooktail's brother. I see a family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you, and then he may al also breathe poison, o poison on you. Great. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move, because the word is, it's gnarly! He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to, to hide to avoid those. That's straight up telling us to use Vivian. Uh, we're gonna switch to Bobbery for the moment, though. Thanks for the don't get hit by the super attack dip. Uh, let's switch to Viv.
Oh, great. I actually didn't poison her. Mm, I think I want to use Bobber here, actually. Jerk. I missed the timing, but that's fine. The, um... The, the fog is gone, and also Barbary won't lose HP if I just switch back away from him. Kind of way to exploit the system, but you know. Let's take whatever advantage we can get against this optional boss. Can we get a bingo? Nope. Hey, Viv is poison now. Do we have anything to deal with poison? Actually, I'm going to have you do fire. So we can put you on fire again. Uh, okay. We're full of us, though. So. Uh, switch to Ms. Mouse. Tough meat, my tasty little morsels. Well, how will you fare against this? Oh. That, that hurt a little. Ow. Alright, um... Switch to Barbary. Go ahead and bomb you. Try to get as much damage in as I can. Switch away from Barbary to pretty much anyone else. Flurry is fine. And, um. I want to heal Mario. I use an Ultra Shroom for that. Now Mario is poisoned. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure he'll pretty much recover the amount of poison that he gets, but uh, not so much for Madame Flurry. Uh, I'm eventually going to run out of characters who aren't poisoned, is the problem that I'm going to run into here. So, Shape Fist. Then switch away from. Hmm. I guess the omelet. Oh no! I didn't see that heart coming and it completely missed. Crap. Alright. easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. 
This is probably the one that um, that I was being warned about. So I'm sorry, Viv, but you're gonna have to take one for the team here. Um, and by one I mean hopefully just the one point. And, uh, Veil. Mega Breath! <laughs> Do you understand my true power now? Really? Again? And veil again. Hmm, how could this be? Well, it only hit Mario, so at least there's that. I might be able to finish this this turn. I'm not 100% sure. All the punies ran away. No! Uh, and I am going to... Uh, Flurry take one for the team this time. Beat that schnoz. Oh, one point left! But you know what? That's fine. The regular old hammer attack. And down goes Gloomtail. No. No. Is that true? Can I expire? Ugh. Oh, look at this! Look at this! 26 points? No, I don't think so. 52 points! Hmm! So, what are we leveling up this time, Tyrion? Yeah, that, that is like one of the best reasons to get that when it strikes for, um, when it strikes for star points on a boss. Oh, delicious. Get from my troubles. Star key. Strange star shaped stone. So maybe that wasn't uh, optional? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Anything else here? Yes, there is. Booby panel? Oh no, I see it. Sneaky. Oh, an ultra shroom to replace the one that I used. A jam and jelly too, which I will drop. Mm. Oh no, I'm gonna drop for that. I'll drop the stopwatch. But surely there's got to be something else, right? Just these two boxes? Hmm. I'm no doubt that. Let's wait for that stopwatch to despawn here. But it looks like, uh... 
No? Okay, now she was sniffing out the uh, the stopwatch. Never mind. Well, let's go ahead and save that. That sounds good, Terry. I, I really find it weird that this room is just empty, though. Is there something here, Ms. Mouse? No, there is not. Onward we go with omelet. Like I threw that one too early actually. I'm surprised it let me have it. Let's go with Flurry. Ball of a slam. Thank you, man. Only one point, really? Haha! Oh dear. That's frightening. Let's go ahead and take you out first. I don't think that really was worth a crap. One point as well. Not good in that bingo, but that's okay. Switch you up now, then, geez. There we back. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but at the very least, it will allow me to do this for free.
Oh good. Attacks might miss while I was going to have someone else attack anyway. Unfortunately, getting out of this fight before uh, spinning the, the reels on uh, on those poison shrooms there. Get the save. If I use Bobbery, actually. Yeah, that works. Is there anything over this way? Nope. that up. And I guess that the other one's probably going to open up another voting panel. Sure enough. <laughs> Save again, just so we don't have to do that again. Although we did show that uh, eternal pariah thing or two. If there's anything else here, probably not. I'm also wondering if I if it might be possible to jump across those pillars, but I don't think they're close enough. Beyond, beyond, beyond. Complete all seven before before. Stones, twin stones, masters and shadow and dark. Two are one, one is two. Four stones, twin stones. Okay, I think I know what the puzzle is here. Also, just hit me what this one is.
beyond, beyond, beyond. Before, before. That gives me the Pal Ski. Seen may yet be felt, so that we the great ones be it here, be it there. All you see isn't all there be. Stones have power of stars. Touch it to pass through it. All you see isn't all there be. Touch it to pass through it. Ah. Calling attention to the fact that uh, this one was half the, uh, the depth of the other rooms. So we've solved three of the puzzles down here, and the other puzzle needs to be solved on a different floor. Let fall the weakest, then build to the strongest, and that the sky is alive. Only the weakest. Uh, so next is it the gray, the red, or the blue? Actually, this is a good time to check the catalog. Dull bones, red bones, dry bones, dark bones. We want the red bones next. Oh, I had to actually. Okay. I was confused there for a second, but I figured it out. It's because of that badge I have. Now I want the dry bones. Carefully. There we go. Finally, the Dark Bones. Yeah. 
fall the weakest and build to the strongest. That uh, should take care of that. Yes, indeed. Opposite of the room below it. So now, if I go back to the room below, there will only be the one block left. Let's go ahead and clear these other two rooms out first. Straight on, straight onward. Destroy all in your path. We know the stars' spurts. Destroy all in your path. I am uncertain about this one. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is Bobbery. I mean, that's what I thought. But I tried Bobbery and it didn't work. Must have been a glitch. The shy, one, the shy one hides his shape, the shy one hi, uh, hides his face, but the stars bring balance. Viv. Let's do the thing. So now technically all of the puzzles are solved, but we still have two keys to collect, so let's go and do that. <clears throat> Welcome back, Tyrion. We're just here solving some puzzles. And also coming up with a with an actual practical use of the uh, title log. Oh, 
Looks like the star key was in fact required, so we did have to fight Blue Tail. That's not the only key we need. We need all eight of these palace keys. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter what order we put them in. Uh-oh, it's moving! Huh? What? What was that? So I will gather that now if we go to uh, if we go through the path where Gloomtail was, that big empty room specifically, uh, there's probably going to be a path down now. Wrong button. I don't know that I particularly needed to do that, but it's done now. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Whoa, Professor Fr Whoa, Professor Frankly, what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was very nice. Thanks to your do-good and predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Opening the door for you? What do you mean by that, you purple witch? <laughs> so you still don't see it? Ah, such fools. The professor, frankly, you were with when you opened the thousand year door was none other than this little freaking sheet. The uh, yeah, my name's Duplos, but. <laughs> the real frankly is sleeping up in nasty bumps on the head in the closet somewhere. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity! <laughs> That's right, Slick. Eternity! Shut up, freak. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Ooh, sorry. No way we go down, sister. You want a piece of this? Bring it on! Come, my sort of lovelies. Marilyn, freak cheat. <laughs> I said my name's Dubus. All right, my kind of lovelies, this time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for some incredible punishment come tomorrow. <laughs> okay, 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 okay.
Alright, so I do not need to actually identify them again. That's actually pretty useful, but they all have a lot of health. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, good. Uh, let me switch to Coops. Power Shell. I figured that was probably the best damage that I could do while also maintaining the, uh, the fog. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this fog. Um, so I don't want to do Bobombas because I think that still does have a chance of missing when there's fog. Ah! Oh, come on now, really? Duplicus, Duplicus duplicated Mario. And, uh, apparently that might not actually, um, yeah, that doesn't, uh, take up his turn. Less chances to attack are now available? I don't like that. Please do not throw a hammer at me, sir. Thank you. Hmm. It's the same problem now, actually. But do I actually want to get rid of the fog if Mario has fewer chances to attack? Let's go ahead and cast Fire Regions. And only hit Duplus, apparently. Hey, you! Freak Sheet! Pull it together, will you? Don't make me punish you! Sorry! More chances for her to attack her now. Now let's use Baba Bast. Oh good. Oh wait, no, that didn't take away my... Okay, sure. Why did that not do anything? Oh, you're duplicating... oh jeez. Gah! Curse you, Mario! This is so very annoying! Blast it! Yeah, blast it is exactly what's about to happen here. Ow! Did... Okay, well that's something anyway. So he's frozen, but also he's invisible. Here comes the fog again. Oh dear. Hmm. 
But at this point, I think I want to do a sweet feast. Do I want to do a sweet feast or do I want to do an heart attack? Or do I want to do a supernova? That's a thought. Let's show this one off. Took out everybody except the one that's charged up. Ooh. Let's see if we can take her out. We can! <gasps> 48 star points. Imagine if that would have been doubled. Oh, but the effect of the curse ran out! No! At this rate, she will never... Ugh. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think... Uh, I think I'm not gonna do that, Terry. <laughs> Let's be real. Alright, um, it's a little early to do this right now, but I am going to go ahead and call break now, because we don't have a lot of game left. So, go ahead and, uh, go get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we will plunge the depths of the Palace of Shadow and see what lies at its very core. And uh, hopefully within the next two hours after that, maybe finish the game. I think that's a reasonable goal. So I'll see you in a bit.